Hello, and welcome to the St. Lawrence's College podcast. I'm Connor, and today we have a very exciting podcast for you. Um, we are going to be taking a look at the media and drama departments, two departments that I'm heavily involved in and heavily passionate about. Uh, these departments have amazing uh, offerings going on co-curricularly at the moment, and so I thought I would uh, shine, a, shine a bit of a spotlight on uh, what's happening in those two departments. First up, I spoke to uh, Miss Chloe Kozlovich, who is a uh, media and film and television and new media teacher here at St. Lawrence's, and I had a chat to her about what's happening in the media department. All right. Well, Miss Kozlovich, thank you for coming on the podcast. <laughs> thank you for having me. So tell me about SLC Media Production. Okay. So SLC Media Production is supposed to be a media club, but we've named it Media Production because apparently media club is not cool, um, which is fine. <laughs> so it's made up of just year eight and year nine boys at this stage. And at the moment they're working on creating a one minute production. So the reason why we're getting them to work on a one minute production is so that one that they can learn to tell a story and a good story in a limited amount of time. Two, because there's a one minute film competition that I'm hoping the boys would be interested in, um, p sorry, not law, well, applying to next year. So the competition opens at the beginning of next year and it closes in June. So just kind of getting them to practice their skills so that when that comes around, we can get the boys applying for these competitions and just getting more experience and um, more experience with Premiere Pro and iMovie and um, yeah, just having fun really. <laughs> it sounds like a great initiative. Now, do you intend in entering these boys in a short film competition, are they going to each be making a submission or will they work in smaller groups to make that submission? They're going to be all, all making their own individual submission if they want to. Mm -hmm. So this one minute film competition, they provide a theme. So this year's theme was war. However, we're not sure what next year's theme might be. It could be love, it could be friendship, and it needs to be around that theme. So it's up to the boys if they want to actually enter that competition most of them seem pretty keen and pretty excited too um and i think there's a small prize of like 500 dollars, yeah. which would be very exciting for year eight and nine students. it would be yes yeah. uh so are you focusing more on production side of things pre-production or post-production or do you look at all of it we're looking at all of it so at the moment the boys have come up with their idea they've storyboard what they are planning to do and they have also written a script um, we're hoping to start filming uh, ASAP, so in the next week or two, and then focusing them on getting experience with Premiere Pro. So because they're in year eight and nine, they haven't had experience with Premiere Pro, so getting them that experience, playing around with some of the editing techniques and building their skills, really. Hmm. Yeah. So what made you do this? Um, I... To be honest, I'm not too sure. I think the re I did have a few boys interested asking, oh, is there a media club? But also a lot of boys have a lot of ideas and sometimes with their assessment tasks, they're mm. limited. So they might only be able to create two production tasks a year. It might only be a trailer or a music video and it is quite restricted. Mm. And a lot of these boys have these wild, amazing ideas, which they're not really able to do. And we are so lucky to have all the resources, the camera gear, the editing techniques, John, Mr. McGeckin, um, at our like at our fingertips. So why not take advantage of it? So um, most of the time, the camera gear, if they're not being used in class, they're just sitting there. So mm -hmm. getting the boys with the hands-on experience and actually bringing their ideas to life, um, which is what I said in the email when I was pitching the idea to the boys, saying, boys, if you're wanting to bring ideas to life, this is the club for you or media production <laughs> for you um, to come and join. So it's more just getting them to experiment, um, build their skills, have fun. It's not very strict. It's just mm -hmm. if whoever wants to explore and have fun and try new things and be creative, I suppose. Mm. Yeah. And for those who are hearing this and are mm. now interested, how can they get involved? So if you want to get involved, we have our media club on Thursday afternoons from 3 to 4 p.m. in ME1. So you're more than welcome to pop down. Um, just pop your head in the door. Everyone's very friendly and welcoming. Or you're more than welcome to email me. Um, so my email address, I'm not, it's Miss 
if you just type in Kozlovich, you should be able to find it. <laughs> um, and yes, you're more than welcome to email me and find out what we're actually doing. Like I said, we are getting started on the filming soon. So we're hoping to get started filming so we can continue on to editing and getting these one minute videos done, completed. Cool. Well, yeah. Miss Kozlovich, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. I also sat down with Mrs. George, the head of faculty for drama, about uh, various different productions that are going on in the drama department that are being completed for both the senior school and middle school. All right. Well, Mrs. George, thank you for joining me today. You're welcome. Not a problem. So tell me about what's going on in the drama department. Uh, in terms of drama co-curricular? Yeah. Okay. So drama co-curricular this year we've had... Um, two productions obviously we started out with something a little bit different because we we're going to have an audience um but you know COVID threw that like everything else out the window and um we have done two short films so um we have the middle school production is um called meddling middle schoolers and um you wrote it I did. and you filmed it <laughs> And you're editing it. Yep. Um, did you do anything else? Directed it? Did I say directed it? Um, so, yeah, with a lovely bunch of um, younger students from 7, 8, 9 and with a really fun um, play script. So uh, that should be available after the 20th of October. Um, and this is the first time hearing of it. Yeah, <laughs> like, well, at the end of October. So after the 20th, I thought, you know, yeah. that's... That is the end-ish of yeah, October. Sure. Um, so we're hoping to be able to get the distribution of that through the newsletter and then possibly um, around the school have some posters with the QR scan codes so that people can um, watch it um, on their phones when they get home. Yeah, and they'll obviously scan outside of 8 and 3 during the day when they're not allowed to have their yeah, phones ha on. Yeah, them. exactly. Yeah. yeah, you can't have your phone. Um, but when... Um, you know, after school, you might be able to do yeah. that. Or in the morning if you've got – because it's not going to be um, – you know, it's not an hour-long show, so you will have time to watch it. Um, so that was the middle school production. Um, and the senior school production is called The Edit, um, and that was um, facilitated by Miss Johnston and Miss Saunders. Um, and you could probably talk a little bit more about that than I can. Yes. Um so go for it. So, Tell us all uh, about it. Yeah, so the Senior School production is a, an episodic series. Uh, it's, it's split up into about five episodes, um, each sort of showing the story from a different character's uh, point of view. We um, have a great cast all yeah. um, through different people. Basically, one of these boys arrives at St. Lawrence's College and finds himself with an edited backstory. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. Okay, so when will that be so, uh, available? So we're saying week six, we're going to drop the first few episodes. Yeah. And that'll go weekly. There'll be a trailer out in week five yeah. to give a bit of a tease. Yeah. So. That's going to be very, very entertaining. And it's been really great that um, we've been able to have you on board to, um, you know, pull things together and because we're – you know, well, I in particular in drama department, I'm not a film and TV teacher, so it's been really nice to have um, film and TV teachers and um, film and TV students help out and be a part of it so that the drama students who want to do co-curricular stuff can get in and be a part of that, you know, um, because we didn't want to miss out on doing co-curricular um, because we couldn't have the traditional kind of audience or the traditional um, performance that we would usually have. So um, it's been really lovely to be able to do it in this kind of different um, way. So thank you. That's okay. And thanks to the film and TV people. Yes, thank you. Uh, now, what do you think viewers will look forward to seeing? What's something? Can you give us a bit of a tease of the middle school production? Um, the characters are really strong and um, the narrative is really interesting. So it's like a bit of a mystery. It's a little bit of a Scooby-Doo uh, mystery. So... And also it features some teachers. So that's always Namely a you. little bit of fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got to be in it. And yeah. um, Mr. Moore. Yeah. So that's always, that was a bit of fun being involved with that. So, um, But, yes, the narrative is really interesting and you get a bit of a surprise at the end. Mm. Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I'm sure if Mr. Moore was here, he'd be able to remind me of the line. You know, what is it? Who would have... What's a line? Would have gotten away well, with it. Too, if it weren't for you meddling, meddling kids. kids. Mm. Meddling middle schoolers. Yeah. Ah, Look it all at comes that. Aren't together. we clever? Yes. Well, you are in particular. <laughs> all right. Um, so that's, that's it um, for the moment. Um, for next year, we're looking at um, Wakakiri, and that's going to be like across all of um, from primary through to senior. So it'll be a large production. Um, and that will be like one of the bigger, um, pieces of work that we do, but then we'll also have the co-curricular, um, middle and senior school productions again. So yes. Very exciting. Yeah. It's always something to look forward to. Yeah. So, and if people want to get involved, come next year in a middle school, senior school or Wakakiri, how can they get involved? Yeah, so usually um, we put call-outs through the notices. So you need to keep um, on top of the notices every day and then we have a meeting and, yeah, so – and we usually do it on a day when there's not a lot of sport um, so that people can kind of try and get across doing lots of different things around the school so they get a nice variety of – Th- things to do so uh yeah but yeah no definitely Wakakiri will hear about you know that's still kind of in the works um and obviously everything else is too you just have to kind of keep an keep an eye on the notices that's how we do it or your drama classroom teacher will know um early in the year where we're up to so yeah you can always ask them or me yeah, yeah. come visit you in yeah. drama one come visit me in drama one i'm there <laughs> every day yeah 24 <laughs> 7 well, not mate, not 24-7. <laughs> Melly, sometimes I should bring a sleeping bag. <laughs> no. Well, Miss George, thank you very much for joining me today. You're most welcome. Thanks for having us. Now, as some of you would be aware, Year 12s are heading into our external exam period. So this is my last podcast. This podcast wasn't even a podcast to begin with. Over the summer holidays in 2019... An idea came about around the possibility of a radio station at the school in my mind. After much consultation with the media department, much development and uh, collaboration between uh, staff and students, this evolved into the podcast that that premiered last August. There have been many people who have made this podcast happen, and I thank them all for their contribution to this. Specifically, I want to thank Mrs. Natalia Collison, my executive producer, who is on maternity leave this year. She is the reason I am sitting in the recording booth I am in today. I also thank Mr. John McGeckin and Mr. Chris Crellin, the media department's editors and technicians, who have constantly put up with me wandering into their office to either have a chat, grab some footage, or bug them about something. I also thank Mr. Sam Clark, who has, in Mrs. Collison's absence, stepped into her role and has been there to help me with anything that I may need. At the end of 2019, we published a podcast that was soon taken down. I want to apologise for this. It caused offence to members of the SLC community and was viewed to be negatively biased. I am sorry that this particular podcast caused offence. It was not my intention in any way, shape or form in producing this episode, and I apologise for any offence that was caused. To those who know me, it will come at no surprise to know the fact that I wish to go on to study journalism and work in the journalism industry. This has been my main aim with the podcast. I have taken a journalistic approach to creating this podcast, even with a set of editorial policies based off the Australian Broadcasting Corporations. I think that in the world we live in, young people aren't as informed as we should be. So if there's one thing that I can instill in you now, let it be this. Watch the news. Stay informed. Be aware of what is happening in the world so that if you see something wrong, you can say, hey, that's wrong, and speak up about it. To those who have seen the recording booth that we use for the podcast in FT1, you may have seen all the freedom of the press paraphernalia. This is what I believe in. A free press is the only way to have a free society. Journalism is not a crime. So as I wrap up, I want to thank you. Thank you for listening to me ramble on for the last year into a microphone and a storage cupboard in a classroom. Thank you. Be sure to keep an eye on the SLC Film and Media YouTube page as we have a number of exciting podcast projects which will be debuting next year. 
which I personally am very excited to see. So, for the final time, thank you, and goodbye.